It is Tuesday, August 18, 2020 at 4.03 p.m. All right, let's take a look quickly here at the National Hurricane Center. All right, so we have Disturbance 1 with 30% chance cyclone formation in 48 hours. A tropical wave over the eastern Caribbean Sea continues to produce an area of disorganized thunderstorms and gusty winds. This wave is moving quickly westward at about 20 miles per hour and significant development is unlikely while it moves across the eastern and central Caribbean Sea during the next day or two. After that time, however, the wave is forecast to slow down and a tropical depression will likely form late this week or this weekend when it reaches the northwestern Caribbean Sea. Formation chance through 48 hours low at 30%, and formation chance through 5 days high at 70%. So they're saying that once it reaches this area over here, the Caribbean, it could develop into something. And that's what we have to keep an eye out as it gets closer to the Yucatan Peninsula, and it gets closer to Cuba, and it reaches the warmer waters here of the Caribbean. That's when we have to keep an eye on this disturbance. All right, disturbance two, 80% chance of cycle formation in 48 hours, an area of low pressure located about 1,300 miles east of the Lesser Antilles is producing a concentrated area of showers and thunderstorms. Environmental conditions are conducted for development, and a tropical depression is expected to form within the next couple of days, while the system moves west-northwestward at 15 to 20 miles per hour across the central and western, por western portions of the tropical Atlantic. Interest in the Lesser Antilles should monitor the process of this system. Formation chance through 48 hours high at 80%, and formation chance through 5 days high at 90%. So this second disturbance has more chance of development than this one right now. Because this one is just basically storms just meandering about and wandering westward, while this one has a more chance of development. All right, let's take a look quickly here at the satellite image. See, I think it's this one. And you see here, the storms here at the bottom of Puerto Rico are pretty much just wandering about slowly and not really developing. While the, let's see here, while the storms here in the central Atlantic, this one has a higher chance of development. This one right here. Let's see if I can get a drawing tool. Alright, this one right here. This one has a higher chance of development than the first one. Alright, so let's go back to the National Hurricane Center and let's take a look at the Eastern Pacific because we have Genevieve. Hurricane Genevieve, maximum sustained winds of 115 knots or 130 miles per hour, minimum central pressure 950 millibars, located at 18.4 north and 108.4 west, movement northwest at 12 knots or 14 miles an hour. All right, let's take a look at Hurricane Genevieve. Here we go, it's a major hurricane all the way up to Thursday at 6 a.m. So major hurricane past Wednesday and all the way up to uh, 6 a.m. on Thursday, it will be a major hurricane. Then it will turn into, excuse me, then we'll go down to a hurricane status at 6 p.m. on Thursday and at 6 a.m. on Friday. Then it is forecasted to become a storm and just head out into sea. But we never know what happens with hurricanes. We never know if it's actually going to go into the, I call this the Baja California Peninsula right here. I call this, although it's Mexico, I still call it Baja California. Forgive me if I, because I don't live in California or in the western region of the world over there. So um, I just call it Baja California. <laughs> but this peninsula right here is very close to the storm. Let's take a look here. This is Genevieve right now. Look at that pretty eye beautifully uh, beautifully shaped pretty much balanced eye in the storm so that means that it's pretty much a major category hurricane right now it is just churning away let's take a look here let's see if we can zoom in so it's getting closer 
to the Baja California Peninsula area right there, as I like to call it, part of Mexico. It is going to be bringing uh, some surf, some rain to parts of Mexico. So um, it's as it gets closer to the Baja California Peninsula region area right there, we have to keep an eye on it to see if it's going to... Because hurricanes are unpredictable. We're going to see if it heads into land or if it moves more out into the sea. That's something that we have to keep an eye on when it comes to this storm right here. So people who live in that area, heads up. Be prepared for a hurricane. The time to be prepared is now. Get your gear. Even because you, you have people who live in that peninsula and people who live close to Mexico. So we got to give them a heads up. All right, so this is the Gulf of Mexico, what's happening there right now. We have a little bit of rain coming into Florida, but it's mostly quiet in the Gulf of Mexico. Mostly quiet except for that rain over Florida and parts of Cuba right here, just popping up. And this is something that we have to keep an eye out when it comes to this storm right here. Um, the storm system coming this right here this storm system coming this way into the Caribbean because the warm waters warm waters is what we have right here in this area so if it if it gets over here and it decides to you know absorb the warm waters and become stronger that's what we have to watch out for right here with the storm system Alright guys, that's it for this video. Hit like and subscribe for more news. Just keeping an eye on the tropics and making sure we have all the bases covered. Alright guys, that's it. See you guys next time. God bless.